right. Um, yeah, I go with this again. More than likely, I'm texting, so I'm just gonna wait for me to start moving. All right, here because it's like I'm coming back. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, and Michael Jordan, the gaming slaughtering kids. But I'm back with another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. First things first, man. Make sure you check out my last video, um, the Battlefield 3 commentary. Uh, what was it called? Uh, very intense and fun game. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. So make sure you check that out, man. I'm gonna put it in the uh, response box down on the bottom. Make sure you go down there and click on it if you didn't see it. It was very good, man. It was very good commentary. I had a nice little beat on the background, you know. Some people ask me if I should put music on my, my videos. I don't do it all the time, but sometimes I'll put it up there. Um, but anyway, man, uh, first things first, man. This gameplay is me using a different weapon. I'm using the CM9, which this gun is a monster, son. <laughs> like, I'm loving this gun. Like, I used to use it before, but I was losing gunfights because it has a slow... It has a slow fire rate, but now I'm on point with it. Look at that. As you see me just doming people, pulse. But, uh, yeah, man, um, I'm not running any proficiencies on it. A lot of people, the first thing they want to do is put kick or, what is it, stability on their gun or something. Don't run that on the CM9, man. The gun has a vertical kick to it, but it's for the best, man. Like, basically what happens is you shoot, all you got to do is aim for the dude's chest, and what it'll do is it'll kick up and hit the person in the head. You're going to see me getting a lot of headshots with this gun because the gun is just a monster, man. I enjoy it. Um, my perks I'm running is, uh, Quick Draw, Scavenger, and Stalker, which are normal. That's normal what I usually run. Uh, but every once in a while I switch to my ACR class with, the uh, Blind Eye and Assassin. That's so I can get away from, you know, air vehicles and UAV spam, which, uh, started happening. So you're going to see me switch to that class. But look at this, man. Dropping this kid. My teammate saved me right here. Thank God, because I was going to be mad. <laughs> but he saved me right there. But watch me run out here. I'm going to dome these two kids. Right here, real quick. Watch this. Uh, uh. I'm telling you, man, the gun is a monster. But yeah, I know I'm getting cookie cutterish right now. You see, I'm doing some cookie cutter stuff. I'm explaining my guns and stuff like that. But that's, I, I want to do that for a reason because that's what this topic is going to be about, man. It's going to be about what is cookie cutting. Because at one point, man, I thought cookie cutting was like uh, people that uh, they you know, they're basically giving you tips on how to play the game. They tell you what's the best gun to use and things like that. Basically, they're they're perfecting your game. And telling you the stuff they do, which makes them pretty good at the game. But recently, if I would, if I were to say a perk or something like that, or talk about my gun and what attachments I use on it, you know, people would say I was cookie cutting. And I'm like, what? I don't understand it. Hold up. And watch this, yo. My, my streak is ended by what? The Type 95. Here, and that gun is just retarded, though. But I'm not going to rain on that. I already did. I'm not going to talk about that no more. But yeah, man, what's cookie cutting though? Like, I'm confused. I thought it was one thing, but now I'm getting called a cookie cutter for doing how and where I. I know why I didn't kill him because I was trying to aim at him, but the auto aim was pulling me on the guy that was shooting at my pavlo, so I couldn't aim at the the guy that was dead in front of me, which I hate. And you can't turn it off on this game. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, dog. Like it's it's people that said I was cookie cutting on some of my videos when I explain my perks and stuff like that. But these are the same people that watch people like Job Turkey, Fisticuffs, uh, Legend of Thunder, Jay Easy, and all that. And these people, you know, those guys actually cookie cut. Even though they say they don't like cookie cutter commentators, they do. If if I'm considered what I was if it was considered what I was doing cookie cutting, then they cookie cut. Because there's a lot of videos with Job Turkey that talk about a certain gun that he's trying out and why he likes it, what attachments he uses on it, what perks he likes to use. And, they, and there's also, you know, times they don't talk about a topic. They're talking about the game. Or the, they're talking about the gameplay in the game or how somebody was playing that they don't like. And some people actually consider you, if you talk about the gameplay at all, you're cookie cut Or play by play. And they, don't, they say they don't like it. Like, my dude JG said he didn't like my last video because I did play by play. He said he really doesn't like play by play like that. Which I was like, well, that's strange because I know you like Shakedown 2012. And he does play by play. And he was like, well, the huge difference is... Um, Shakedown does live gameplay, and I, I was like, no, these aren't live gameplays. He just narrates them like the live gameplays. He's just good at what he does. Like, it, he makes it seem like it's live gameplay, but think about it. Who do you know can play the game that well and casually, commentating about what's going on in the game? Like, I can't really do live commentary and concentrate at the same time. Like, there'll be times where I'm like extra quiet because I can't do it. Like, Job Turkey, he narrates his commentaries and makes it seem like it's live, but. Is actually not, but then when he does his live commentary, he always has to apologize because he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, folks, man. It's, it's hard to concentrate and then 
commentate at the same time. So you could tell the difference between him really doing a live commentary to him just making it seem like he's doing a live commentary. So I told him that, and he was like, well, maybe, you know, some people just interest me better, which I thought was pretty fucked up, but I'm, I'm not going to really bitch about that. It's, it's whatever. I mean, that's how he feels about it. That's how he feels about it. But anyway, man, so... I don't know, man. Sometimes I just don't feel like doing topics. I try to keep... Oh, that attack. That little drone thing. That recon drone is the most stupidest idea Infinity War put in the game. And if it didn't last that long, if it lasted like probably about five minutes. In fact, not even five minutes. If it lasted on you for like a minute, that would have been cool. But it lasts on you until you die, which is stupid. And it's just, it's just the dumbest thing in the world. But anyway, I don't know, man. I just try to, I just try to mix it up for everybody. Because I've had subs ask me... You know, certain things like what's my sensitivity, what's my attachments, what perks do I use, and stuff like that. And I never talk about it in a video or anything like that. So, I want to mix it up for everybody because everybody doesn't like, you know, hearing topics all the time. And everybody doesn't like hearing play-by-play -play or or tips. So, you know, it's whatever. I just, I just try mixing up, man. That's how I, I want to cater to everybody. I don't want it just to be, like, one-sided. But anyway, man, this video is coming to an end. If you like the commentary, please hit the like, uh, like button. Also, subscribe. Sorry, I was stumbling on my words. <laughs> but this is your boy Tick, a.k.a. Game Fanatic, and Michael Jordan the Gaming. And I'm gone. Bye!